Okay, so we're going to do the proposal, um, and this is specifically for flooring. Again, like everything else, paperwork, uh, methodology, um, everything gets more complex and complicated as you move from scope of you know scope to scope. Um, but this is very basic, very easy, and it's the same foundation you're going to need to build on as you move into windows and siding. Um, so. Do you see my pages screen up in front of you? Yes, sir. I got you. Awesome. So you see your template now. The template is everything you see here minus a few bells and whistles. OK. So the first thing you're going to do, and I want these very particular. I'm going to have you, the first couple that you send out, I'm going to have you send to me so I can kind of proof them because it's just like centering, you know, centering the screen on the pay options and promotions tab. I want these all standardized coming from everybody looking the same. So it's very important to me how these get sent out to the client. Okay. And this is exactly what I want them to look at, look like. So here in your picture box, you're going to have a little plus corner, uh, or excuse me, a plus icon down in this right hand bottom corner. Yep, you see that. Okay. So all you do is click that and it's going to pull up your camera roll. And then you can pick the picture that you took of the front of the house. If it's taken in company cam, it's a little bit different, but it's still, you just go to company cam, go to the picture that you want to use, which is usually the front of the house profile. And then you can say download to device or save to device. Because going forward, all your pictures will be taken in company cam. <laughs> awesome, because then they don't bog down your camera roll. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so that's the the process is going to company cam because you don't want to take a separate picture out of company cam that just gets just too much so go into company cam and make sure when you're at the house you take a good proposal picture so to speak meaning front of, front of the house orientation and one that you know you can use for a proposal okay and then you just go to that picture click on the three dots where it's you know in the uh it's different on the iPad or the iPhone, but I think on the iPhone, it's in the bottom right corner. And, and you, one of the options will be save to device. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on the iPad and um, yeah, I was able to find it. I was actually able to put the picture in too and kind of go through this with you, so. Good. So you got your picture there. I want the picture is the picture is the first thing that you should see. The picture should be lined up with this little header piece up here. See that on the sides? Yep, if it's lined up. That should be lined up. The next thing should be the Pentec proposal. The next thing should be all the bio information and super crucial is the date of proposal. Why? Because we offer a 90 day price. If there is no proposal date, when did that 90 days start? <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. And, and I've got, you know, I've gotten burned on that a couple of times and it didn't take me long to make sure that every single proposal has an accurate date on it. That makes sense. Okay, I want it to look just like this. I want it to be spaced here, you know, from this bottom, uh, kind of this bottom footer. I want it to be spaced appropriately so it's not down too far onto the next page. This is the title page of the proposal. This is what this should look like. All right, so it looks like there's two spaces between the pertinent information and that bottom line. I don't know what it is, two or three. It, it, I'm not worried about that so much is that it's not right on this line. Okay. You know what I mean? It's just the details. If somebody gets something yep. that looks like all all out of whack, they're like, what is this guy doing, you know? And we call it jumping. If you go from one proposal to the other, really, all the information, although different, should be in the exact same spot. So. Yeah. yeah. So that's your title page. This is all just information objective goals, solution, expert installation, exterior designers. And here we go, this actually needs to be. Um, why is that over there? Oh. Um, so basically, sorry. okay, a little disclaimer on here about putting stuff back or taking stuff out and putting it back. Goes into preparation. Concrete reconstruction, base coat, broadcasting the chip, you know, just basically everything they need to know about this process. Here's some of the highlights. 
with Pentec versus maybe an epoxy product. Here's a bullet summary of the warranty. And this is the only section generally that you need to modify. Okay, yeah, because in our case, we offer that second warranty or windows and doors probably have different warranties. Yeah. Okay. So you do want to put in the square footage, okay? We didn't know what color because I, I, these are previous clients of mine and the wife was the only one there on the first go round. So I sent the proposal because she wanted to see that to make sure we weren't out of the ballpark and we came back and picked colors. It was unfortunate, but it was a previous client. So, um, but you need to have okay. square footage. You need to have the color if you have it. If not, uh, you need to mention all verticals present including the garage lip and stairs, crack repair, numerous different locations at no cost, small enough to be fixed with normal process. If there are crack repair, if, if there are cracks that are needing of repair, then we need to put 76 linear feet of crack repairs to be filled with mender and ground down. Okay. Areas excluded, not doing inside the closet, not doing under the water softener, blah, blah, not doing the base of the water softener. A lot of times you'll see that in Texas, that's real common. Water heaters in the, or water softeners in the garage. And it's not generally the water softener. It's usually the water heater. I said it right the first time. The water heater's up on a base. That base is oh, generally okay. like a wood framed and it's generally sheet. Yeah. Rock. Yeah. So obviously we don't coat sheetrock. So you got to set that expectation that, hey, this isn't going to be coated because it's sheetrock, it's not cement. Yes, sir, that makes sense. So that's the areas excluded. Project investment value, this needs to be changed every time. Discounted quote is valid until should be 30 days. Retail price valid for 90 days. And I think I did this, what was it, 12.6? Yeah, December 6th, so 12 6. And I made it till the end of the month, 12 31. <clears throat> so that needs to be changed. Absolutely. That's a, that's probably the trickiest thing that people forget is to change this little guy right here. Okay. And then does this look familiar. Yes, sir. <laughs> so you screenshot your Okay, see that? See how you can see the transparent kind of surround? Uh, yes. Oh, yep, yep, okay. That's gonna be what happens when you screenshot is you're gonna get all this header and all this other crap you don't need. So yeah, when, you, when you screenshot that pro final price that you give them and it needs to be the final price that you walk away from, you need to crop this down like you see here you need to crop it down and size it so it looks nice and buttoned up like that. Not yes, sir. Like that. So you crop it down. It's very easy to center it until, you know, you just see the yellow line or orange line, whatever you want to call that. And that's your center point. And then you can size it, you know, however you want, whatever. But that's how that should look. And then you're going to have your signature line down low head down here we'll get a picture made so you can put this little footer on all your proposals and this this alone you know and again we're you know we're not going to sell every time if we can do something or impact somebody in such a way where they're like man the professionalism of that company was so far beyond what i saw from any other company i can't afford them but I'm going to save my money and I'm going to wait until I can afford them because I don't want to go with something less. Yes, sir. That makes sense. So, and we do that by the way we treat them, by the proposals we give, by the presentation we take them through, the sales presentation that we take them through. Um, all that stuff conveys professionalism and these guys are a cut above. And our, if our proposal isn't doing that same thing, then we got, we got an incongruence there that's, you know, that's not good. So the point is this thing needs to be buttoned up. It needs to be, you know, something as you get good at it, it only take two and a half minutes, but, you know, going into it new, you really need to go slow. You need to make sure you get all the details, right. Make sure it's formatted correctly and then send it off. Yes, sir. 
but that's it's really that easy you know again you're changing the making sure that this is all good stuff you know all pertinent correct stuff to the project and then you're changing the discounted quote Dang. So just to just to verify, sir. So the the first picture up on the title page or cover page, that is always going to be a picture of the front of the house. Like for, because we're doing flooring, do we want to take a picture of the space, or do we really just want the front of the house to make it look good? Yeah, I use the front of the house because that's what people see okay. every day when they come home. Okay. All right. Makes sense. So it's something that says this is mine. This is individual. This is unique to me. The garage floor. It's it's. I don't like having that in front and center, you know, because typically, typically the garage floor is ugly and it's, you know. Yes, sir. Yeah. Just wanted to verify. Makes sense though. Yeah. So this is exactly, and I can send you this one. This is a really straightforward. Um, I can send you this one. Yeah, I, I, I think I get it, sir. You can send it if you think it'll help, but it's pretty, pretty simple. Okay. <clears throat> so that's that's putting together a proposal. And this is what we send the client the night of the night after our visit, right? Especially if they've decided to buy. Correct. And and we, do we also send a copy of the work order or is this all we send them? No, they only get the work order when they become a client. Okay. So either way they're getting this and then if they, you know, if we have cash in hand and we go through a whole market sharp process, then we also send the work order with this. Correct. Uh, okay. No, if you send a work order, all they're getting is a work order. Okay. All right. It's, yeah. Okay, unless, so this is, okay. Copy. Yeah. Unless, okay. The, you didn't convert the business on the first visit. You send a proposal. Um, they call you back. Hey, good. We got our quotes. We're going with you. Let's get it going. You can do that all remotely. You don't need to make a trip out to their house. That's old school. It's a waste of gas and it's a, a totally complete waste of technology. Um, if you have be back people, we can do everything remotely. You don't need to get in your car and spend 45 minutes driving and waste gas and kill the environment. You know, it's just yeah, yeah. all just, those things. Yeah. Hop on the computer and get it done in 10 minutes. Yeah. We have phones and tablets and computers galore now. So it's, it's changed, man. And, you know, you still have some old school people that, you know, think that they have to drive back out and it's, it's really not even a customer service thing. Cause if the people have to make one less appointment and take off work one less time or interrupt their Saturday one less time, they're going to be happier for it. So it's a win-win for everybody. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So yeah, they, if very, uh, yeah, maybe once in a blue moon, will you send a proposal and a work order, but generally your work order contains everything in the proposal. Unless somebody's just, it's like that. I have to get three quotes thing. Well, I always told, I was always told to get a proposal with the work order. Uh, okay. Whatever. I'll send it to you, but it's, it's super redundant. <clears throat> Any questions on the proposal? No, oh, that's that's super easy. Okay. But yeah, so definitely was, the first couple of times, I, I can understand now why. <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely yeah. go through it slow and send them to you before pushing them out. That's for sure. So. Yeah, very rarely does somebody 